This is the best argument that the theists have. Given that, it is still a terrible argument. It is not at all convincing. I will give you five quick reasons why theism does not offer a solution to the purported fine-tuning problem. First, I am by no means convinced that there is a fine-tuning problem. And again, Dr. Craig offered no evidence for it. It is certainly true that if you change the parameters of nature, our local conditions that we observe around us would change by a lot. I grant that quickly. I do not grant that therefore life could not exist. I will start granting that once someone tells me the conditions under which life can exist. What is the definition of life, for example? Secondly, God doesn't need to fine-tune anything. I would think that no matter what the atoms were doing, God could still create life. God doesn't care what the mass of the electron is. He can do what he wants. The third point is that the fine tunings that you think are there might go away once you understand the universe better. They might only be apparent. Number four, there's an obvious and easy naturalistic explanation in the form of the cosmological multiverse. Fifth and most importantly, theism fails as an explanation. Even if you think the universe is finely tuned and you don't think that naturalism can solve it, theism certainly does not solve it. If you thought it did, if you played the game honestly, what you would say is, here is the universe that I expect to exist under theism. I will compare it to the data and see if it fits. What kind of universe would we expect? And I claim that over and over again, the universe we expect matches the predictions of naturalism, not theism.